<laughs> hey everybody, it's me, Jet Byron, and welcome to my excuse for being away for so long. I, uh, <laughs> um, I was just trying to write down a few notes. I'm like, you know what? Freeform. The first one I freeformed and it went fine. It is like twice the views of some of my videos I work so hard on. I'm looking at you, audience. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I guess, so I'm back. Uh, I'm working on stuff. It's not all out yet. My hair is absolutely a mess. No, there's nothing I can do. Like uh, gel, uh, uh, hairspray, anything. It will stay. It will go. It'll go like this, and it already looks goofy up anyway. And then it'll just go, and then it'll just look like a sweaty mess. So I try to part it a little bit, and that's about it. Um, so I'm back. I took a trip. Um, I think at this point I can tell you where I went to Texas. Um, the reason was I, and I, I haven't watched my video in a while, so I may have said it, but, uh, the reason was I went to actually try to get myself a job with some gaming companies down in Austin that didn't work. Uh, I ended up actually meeting with one of my bosses and I may be shooting myself in the foot here. Um, but that went really well and I might have a job in Dallas. So we'll see how that goes. But more importantly, um, I feel rejuvenated. Uh, I've uh, talked to a lot of friends and family along the way. It was a it was a 15 hour drive total there, and then 15 hours back, so a total of 30 hours on the road to just allow myself to mentally contemplate everything in my life. So uh, it really gave me a lot of time to internalize, figure things out in my own head, and uh, I really needed it apparently because <laughs> I feel. A thousand times better um, that being said I've been back for a few days and I haven't done much with the channel uh, because apparently a 30 hour trip 30 hours of driving can really take it out of you but um, so those are my excuses uh, I did come away with a few ideas though and not specifically for this channel but for other stuff that I can do to entertain you guys uh, although I know this channel is primarily for people who uh, enjoy games, gaming, uh, watching me play games, which has just been an odd idea ever since I've thought of it. Um, but also, uh, I have a few other, I would call them hobbies. Uh, some might say talents, but I'm not sure about that quite yet, uh, that I wanted to explore, one of which was singing. So um, there are a few songs that I really enjoyed on the trip. Um, uh, actually most of them like hip hop and art, uh, rap, which is not usually my style to begin with, but stuff that I'd enjoy, um, that I want to kind of try my hand at creating cover. So I'm going to, I'm going to try something of like that. It'll be a totally different channel and I'll let you guys know when it happens in case you're interested. Um, so I want to try that, create some covers as well as create, uh, some original pieces. Um, and those pieces, I, I've never written music before, but I am I'm pretty okay at lyrics and uh, poetry and things like that. So uh, I'm comfortable in that realm. So if any of you are good at writing music or uh, have some music that you want to put words to, uh, feel free to contact me and I'm down, I'm down to cooperate, uh, uh, collaborate, I should say, cooperate. Like, <laughs> hey man, I'm here to help you. Um, no, seriously, I'm here to help you with that. Uh, I would love to collaborate with anybody on that. But other than that, I'll probably be using, um, I use Techno Axe. If you haven't checked my descriptions, they're in every single one. I love them. I love their music. I use them in almost everything that has music outside of the games. Uh, so uh, I, I use them a lot and I'll probably use them for this project too. Um, start with their music as the base and then put lyrics to it. I don't know how they feel about that, and more than likely, it'll just be for me. I'm not going to monetize or anything on it. So, uh, But those are those are little products I came up with, along with um, everything I'm doing with this channel, which I've kind of listed in various places, either the Facebook page, the About page on YouTube, or uh, I think that's actually it. But um, one of them is um, that I haven't public said anything about but it, it I did mention them on those about pages um, is doing a regular vlog um, I have one I actually created prior to the trip that I was going to upload but I thought I'd mention it now since I'm gonna upload this before the vlog anyway so uh, I want to start doing uh, a weekly vlog um, Sundays 
just to give a recap of what I've done for last week, what I've learned, the people that have subscribed, send my thank yous out to them, um, and anything like that. Uh, it also gave me an opportunity to do this because um, my first video was actually extremely cathartic. It gave me uh, a few moments pause as to what I really envisioned for this channel and how, I mean, at the time I wasn't happy with what I was doing. Now, coming back, I'm very happy with uh, how it's been going. Um, I don't really have an expectation for some sort of subscriber count or view count or anything like that. My expectation is solely on myself. And I feel like if I can improve my art and improve my uh, performance, I guess you could call it, um, then the subscribers and the views and all that, that'll come with. So um, that's not the priority. The priority is to get better at um, choosing games, playing games, which is probably the primary, um, the primary goal with you guys is, you know, I want to be able to be good at games with you. Um, and also to be able to uh, commentate a little better, which will hopefully uh, be a little more entertaining for you to watch uh, as opposed to just playing it yourself, which you could absolutely do. And I hope I have at, in some ways inspired you to go out and play some of the games that I have. That's, that's kind of the point as well, uh, is I want to show you something that I really like, then you can take that and run with it and do what you want, whether it be watch me some more or hey, I really like that game that he was playing. It looked really fun and cool. I want to play it too. So, um, And that's why I'm very careful about selecting some of the games I do because I want to make sure that I'm supporting the right kinds of games, the games that uh, maybe need it. Um, Bethesda, the Bethesda Challenge was a little bit of a sidetrack because I know those are mainstream games that are very, you know, everyone knows them, everyone's played them. So, uh, except for me, apparently. But I digress. Uh, but I did want to uh, share with you some of the uh, uh, some of the more uh, substantial uh, thoughts that I had on the trip back. Um, there was a song that I listened to a whole lot, way more than anything else, um, that really spoke to me, and uh, it's called "Art Is Dead" by Bo Burnham. Um, he wrote it and sang it a long time ago. Um, long before I'd ever heard of him, uh, which is odd because apparently he's been around for a while. But his the song is all about how um, artists, and I, I use that word loosely on myself, but artists themselves are people who enjoy the attention and never learn to get over that. Um, I think I'm a little beyond that. <laughs> I, I honestly believe that... Um, that I, I, in my everyday life, don't crave it like I used to, which is probably a good thing, maybe a sign of maturity or what have you, I, I don't know, but um, I do have that, I do have that little bit of fire where I'm like, hey man, I want people to like what I do, and I like people to uh, uh, give me compliments and say, hey, you're doing great, like I, I, I do enjoy that, so uh, this is my way of doing that. Um, I try to split my days up between you know, producing something and consuming something, and then uh, this is this is the way I produce, and it's the way of letting that inner child out to roam free and ask for all the attention. Give me attention! I want attention! You know, so getting that out there, getting that out of my system, that way I can <laughs> I can go throughout my everyday life and not worry about it because I understand that there are five people a week who who tune in and watch watch some of my videos even if they're just some of my friends which is totally cool hey everybody hey nate and jenny and becky and whoever else is watching i appreciate uh i appreciate the views but uh all that to say thank you everybody for being patient i guess thank you for everyone who maybe stopped in looking for new episodes, didn't see any, and didn't unsubscribe. I appreciate that. Um, and I, as I promised, I'm going to double up on the ones I missed. I think I'm a full nine days behind now, which, whew, okay. So I plan on producing at least two videos for the next few weeks, um, maybe on and off, um, to make up for those nine days that I missed. 
and so we'll have a clean slate hopefully by the next week next or next week or two and uh i may and this is a warning i'm not sure if it's gonna happen but uh and i'll let you not guys know if i if it happens um but i may end up missing just a few more days i know i know i'm sorry i'm really sorry uh i may end up missing a few days just because i may be moving so uh it is a rather long trip i imagine it'll be a lot of work to get myself set back up with an apartment with internet um getting all my stuff out there so if that happens and that's an if it may not take a full day all i know is it's a full 15 or 12 hours 12 hours to uh the next place i might be living so if that happens uh i will let you guys know and hopefully i will schedule in advance to take advantage of that but uh if i can't for whatever reason i'll let you guys know all right so that's all i had uh i got my little cheat sheet of topics here um if there's anything you guys think I missed or didn't resolve or if you just want to say hello, um, Facebook, Twitter, I'm all over the place. Uh, or if you just want to send me a message here on YouTube, that works too. Uh, that Or a comment, even comment down below. Perfect. Um, that'd be great. Uh, I really enjoy the feedback I've received already. Um, a lot of it verbal, just people coming up to me or calling me or uh if i go out to lunch or something looking at you stan um i appreciate all that feedback and i intend to keep keep pushing forward and hopefully stay as entertaining as i have been uh hopefully most more so as i get better at this and uh i appreciate everyone who's stuck along with the journey so uh that's all i've got i really hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will catch you guys later so jeff byron sign off